Good morning. Last night on the way back, we found a big bull. Big bull. Um, this morning he's only bugled once, but there's a couple other bulls here with him out and around. It's a nasty reprod jungle here, but um, maybe we'll get get one or get on him. There's a bull right over, just not too far over here. He's bugled a couple, three times, and maybe he'll want to play. <coughs> Seem to tell me what I need to get right. Your eyes, they can't seem to understand what I realize. Realize, this isn't just a dream. Stuck on a bad repeat, fighting the air to breathe. You can't touch me now. Took me a while to see. It doesn't have to be you winning over me. You can't touch me now.
sound like a young bull, but who knows, he had cows with him, so it's either a fork and horn or a spike hanging out with his mom and sisters, or maybe it's a big daddy trying to fool us, but I've heard him for a little bit now, so I think he might have winded us. The wind's been just back and forth stupid. Big ball down in the hole. Another bigger percent of ball over this way, so I think we'll move up on the ridge top a little ways here and see if we can get this other one going. That escalated really quickly. <laughs> that guy came, that bull came from so far we could barely hear him. But he was bugling quiet even here with the wind and stuff. But he popped up, did you see his eyes? He was rolling his eyes. He had, he had his posture and he had his head down. He was coming out here to show off, to, to, to show the other bull who the boss was. And, uh, <laughs> 
Man, we fooled that sucker. That was a good lung shot. That was... Air, arrow just disappeared, gone. Probably passed through it. It didn't even... It didn't have make a big whack, so... Must have hit ribs. Um... <laughs> no. We've been fighting reprod. We've been fighting the jungles. finally get one up on this beautiful open ridge um, there's reprod here but it's not quite so dense it's a little drier on this side I think <sighs> there's been the big boy which looked just like that bull but bigger than we saw last night um, we had another we got another bull down here bugling and grunting this guy come in on a string This one's bigger than the one we called him that I missed. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> 7.37. So probably 7.35 when I shot him. So I'm gonna sit down here, wait 30 minutes. Perfect shot, I know it is, but we gotta wait. Um, hit him dead center of the lungs. I wanna stay away from that shoulder blade as much as possible. Um, Wait here 30 minutes with this rain. If it, if it starts raining early, we're gonna probably take up take up the trail early. Right now, we're just gonna hang out, let him be. <laughs> Go collect him here in a bit. Oh man, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. September 26th, yeah. I think. Yeah. I told you, monsters were coming. Man, I don't know how good that you got that, but he came out wild-eyed as can be, madder than a mofo, ready to fight. Oh, yeah, I love it. His neck was all bristled up. He had his head down and he's displaying his rack. Man, oh man. is if he dies really quickly the pack's gonna be incredible <laughs> it's like tabletop flat here which is unheard of I always say things happen for a reason and I always say the best is yet to come I've had some moments of despair and I knew I had to push all that aside push those those emotions of desperation and, and fear of failing push them away because the best is always yet to come and I think we've hit our climax today so I'm gonna sit down here try to wait for 30 minutes I don't know if I can <laughs> about 55 pounds <laughs> with my teeth. Um, Bad eye. Heavy, heavy arrows, day six arrows, single, <clears throat> single blade with two bleeder blades, pass right through. 
It's pretty stormy, pretty rainy. We're gonna take it up on this blood trail a little very slowly. Uh, I have no doubt he's up here not very far. I heard a bunch of commotion over here, like a bunch of stumbling, like maybe he fell. So anyway, I slowly, methodically take up the blood trail. He's starting to bleed good now.
Ich höre auch bei. Thank you for sharing your life with us. And you're gonna feed my family well this year. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of emotions um, that hunters feel. And I think if you don't hunt, you don't, you'll never experience those kind of emotions. Um, there's the highs and the lows of the hunt, you know, when it goes good and when it goes bad and, and all the struggle. Um, the elation when you're finally successful and, and take an animal's life. And then also um, some sadness too. Um, I just <clears throat> extinguished a voice, a life from the forest here. And uh, I don't take it lightly. If you're not a hunter and have never experienced this, um, it's really hard to hard to comprehend. I, I would definitely imagine. How could you love something so much that you'd want to kill it? Um, but it's a circle of life. I've, I've given this bull a much, a much more honorable death than brutal winners or merciless wolves will give. Um, he lived life to the fullest, to the very end. He was probably having a pretty good day. Died on his best day, perhaps. That ain't a bad way to go. <laughs> So pumped. It's awesome. Just want to really thank Dusty for coming along. Um, <laughs> he can attest to it. It's a wild ride, man. Hunting this brush and nasty, thick country. And until and until you have taste the success, you may feel like. It's never going to happen. I'm never going to be successful. But when you least expect it is when it happens. Now we get to work him up, put him in the little white bags, and uh, pack him back to the truck. My uh, future son-in-law, Brandon, and uh, my daughter were coming up to camp today. They're on their way to camp today. And uh, he was so excited to come join us on the hunt because he's never hunted. Um, he wanted to experience this. And uh, <laughs> sorry, man, <laughs> this one was a gift. He was right there, perfect, clear, 20 yard shot and uh, <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, he's not the biggest bull in the woods, and he's probably the little brother to that big honker we saw last night. But, but I'm thrilled. And I've killed an elk. I've killed this elk in a place I've never thought I would kill an elk ever. Never heard an elk bugle here. Um, Kind of one of those weird places and I, I i don't know if it's because they're in here because of the because all the rain we've had this summer we've had a really wet summer but in the end it don't really matter <laughs> uh, i got him i'm gonna give him a ride home and uh enjoy his delicious bounty thanks for following along
bun on the table Wrapped in burlap, barely able Don't get angry, don't discourage Take a shot of liquid courage Cause my monsters are real This is the uh, last cameraman diary vlog for this trip and uh, I just want to say uh, man thanks for watching all this and uh, uh, it was uh, so much fun. Um, all these shenanigans of trying to expose Dirk and stuff was just fun. It was kind of hard because I have to say Dirk is a awesome dude. Um, had so much fun with him. I just want to thank you, Dirk, for uh, choosing me to be your cameraman and letting me come along and watch you hunt and film it and uh, just the inspiration you've given um, of uh, not giving up and um, just your dedication to the hunt and moving to a mouth tab uh, just to get it done and, and you got it done. That was awesome. So uh, I just want to thank you for that and uh, thank everyone for watching this production and if you haven't subscribed to Dirk's channel yet please do so uh, he's a good man and uh, fun guy we had so much fun and exciting adventures so thanks again and we'll see you around